Good day everyone. I am Aunt Pauline El Nerva, the last reporter of this group. So now let's proceed to uh, rules and uh, regulation of softball. So one of the basic objective in the game of, of softball is to hit the ball with the bat before that players tries to run around in the field of four bases. So number one, in a softball, each team consists of nine players and uh, teams can be of mixed gender. Number two, the game runs for a total of seven innings which are split into two sections, the top and bottom of innings. Number three, so number three, each team's innings ends when three of the batters have been called out. And then four, the side uh, switch after each team has batted once in each innings. Number five, uh, it is necessary for the batter to successfully strike the ball and run around as many bases as possible. So once they get all the way around and back to the home plate without uh, being given, given an out, a run is scored. The number six, uh, the fielding team is supposed to prevent the runs from uh, being scored. They can ma make the batsman miss the ball, uh, catch their ball, tag one of the bases before they reach it or tag the batter while they're running with the ball in the hand. So, each this these uh, three each these scenarios gives the batting team an out. Then number seven, the foul area is located down the first and uh, third base line. So once the ball crosses this line, before it bounces the ball, before it bounces, I mean the ball is deemed dim dead. And the play restarts with a new pitch. So number eight. If the batter hits the ball over the outfield wall and into the dead ball area, a home run is scored. The batter can then stroll around the bases to score along with any additional batters that have made made it on base. The number nine, the winners of the game will be decided after seven innings have been all completed. Uh, the team with the most runs after seven innings will be declared the winner. If after seven innings the game is tied, then extra innings will be played until a winner is found. The number 10, it's not allowed for the pitcher to stop or bounce the ball in a pitching position as it may prevent the batsman from hitting the ball. Then last, number 11, it is strictly pro prohibit prohibited for the pitcher to use any kind of tape or other substance on the ball. So, let's proceed to the scoring rules of the game for scoring in softball. Number one, in softball, to score, to score a run, the batter must successfully first 
hit the ball and make it around the bases without getting an out. The number two, uh, after each batter manage, manages to make it around the, the infield, uh, one run is scored. So last for the scoring, number three, a run can be scored even if the batsman who hits the ball doesn't make it around to home plate but manages to get a player already on the base home. So let's proceed to the uh, aspect of the game and things to consider. So number one, team composition. Uh, as I said earlier, each softball team has nine players and it can be of uh, mixed gender. So the so next, the average length of the game. Um, a softball game typically lasts an hour or two, although longer and shorter games are possible. The length depends on the number of innings in the game. So, number three, I uh, time out. In overtime periods, each time is allowed two timeouts. A timeout can only be requested by a player in the game or the head coach and only when the ball is dead or in a control of the team making the request while in substitution there is no limit on substitutions so let's proceed to the violations understanding what not to do while pitching is equally important as what to do there are certain moves that are considered illegal in pitching. So number one is leaping. Leaping. This is one of the moves which needs to be avoided in softball. The simple definition of leaping is the condition in which both feet of the pitcher are in the air at the same time. So ayan po. As you can see, both feet of the pitcher are in the air of are in the air at the same time. So number two, crow hopping. Crow hopping, I mean. In this move, both feet of the pitcher are dragged off the plate. Replanting of uh, one of the feet takes place in order to, de to derive advantage by means of a second push-off. So the pitcher gets undue advantage as this enables him to release the ball at a greater speed with this kind of action. It is also possible to uh, deceive the batter by changing the pace of the ball. So, next is stepping. The act of sidestepping, just like leaping, is not allowed at the same time of pitching the ball. The pitcher who is about to release the ball balances his weight in on one foot and moves the other, which is not grounded forward. It is necessary to keep the foot well with the plate's range. The range of the plate is uh, 24 inches. The pitcher is not allowed to step out of this range. So that would be all. Thank you.